first game to Xiong Huang. Yeah. Ryan, uh, game two. Or actually, no, 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 no. Ryan won the first game, right? Ryan won the first game. Ryan won the second game. Jungle Ryan won the third game. Yeah. And Ryan but won the fourth. Game. It looked like it was like, okay, it didn't oh, make any sense. Oh, they're going right into uh, Ice Climbers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, yeah. it's working for him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Grand finals here, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan from loser's side, MC David from winners. These two faced off in winners' finals. Uh, oh. I'm sure you can see the graphics. But for you Twitch viewers at home, we are getting into it here. Zrick on the mic with me, I'm Johnny Lawrence. As we have a opening popo, uh, solo popo here. Uh, MC Davis got to be uh, scared here because Ryan's Popo is the best version of his Ice Climbers. <laughs> oh, we see Ryan with the... Uh... Ryan took off his coat. Yeah, coat off. Yeah. It means business. Oh, under armor. Oh. David probably was hoping to get a back air there and got a forward air instead. Oh, nice grab. Up smash. Doesn't kill. Trapper. Just kind of gives them room to land randomly. <laughs> Choo choo. McDivitt's back on offense. I like the sequence there. Does get the nair. Double jab. Didn't fast fall the nair, so. Got ground for the troubles, but. Uh, I don't know. Not looking too good. Ryan's got to make a play here. He gets back here. Oh, jab. Darn. I see David looking pretty dominant. Ryan taking breath. Oh. This is their Coco, right? Gets killed. <laughs> so now we have a four stocks to two game here. Oh, that down smash was brutal there. Yeah, this was a bad matchup. <laughs> yep. Those you just did that versus Ice Climbers for like 15 years, you know? Sure. <laughs> and finally learned, they finally learned how to deal with it, but it took them a while. Okay. 15 years, a long time. Went from being born to being a high schooler in that period. Being able to drive. Some states, yeah. Is it in DC? In DC? DC 16. DC 16. 17. 16. Like yeah. You learn it's at 16. Yeah. Get ready, anyway, MC David driving the play right now. Three stocks to one. Ryan gonna have to come up with some sort of a comeback attempt. Uh, was going to Icy's, I guess, because it worked last time, too. <laughs> But, uh, cool combo. Up smash? Oh, I know. I see David kind of DI'ing right every time I had down throw. Choo choo. Brian has been getting a lot of stuff out of it without his nano. Okay. Does get the up smash, so a uh, bit more even, or a uh, bit closer of a set right now. I see David playing a little differently than John Wong. He's uh, kind of playing outside the range while uh, John Wong was like going in and being aggressive and trying to force 50 50s and pressure and shield. Choo choo. Uh, I see David's kind of like staying out there, doing back airs, down smashing, you know, yeah. poking from outside Brian's range. He's going icy again, man. Ooh, is he just giving age? Being nice to MC David, like, yeah, he's like, you know what? I want this to be a uh, game five game. <laughs> yeah, I give you the first two for free. True, true. But I mean, MC David beat his sheet. Ah, uh, so Ryan's got the secret formula. Yeah, he's gonna go Fox. Man, that was really good. MC David kind of realizing that Nano was just dead there and just kept Ryan out of the uh, range, just throwing turnips, bullying. 102, 108, 118. And oh, gets the got a stitch. stitch. Uh, that's not looking pretty good. That's like a death sentence for the last climbers. There and it is. Again. You grabs, grabs it again. Ah, misses Nana. Yeah. Good DI there from Nana. Good job. <laughs> Damn, MC even kind of trash. Couldn't even hit his CPU. Ah. Wash alert. Wash. 
David's like, yeah, I'm not going in. <laughs> you can do it. Nope. <laughs> yeah. You must be high on grass to think I'm going in. Speaking of, of grass. <laughs> yeah. Got a little uh, push this is, I feel like this is pretty good for Peach. Yep. Like, what, what's Ice is going to do? Camp the top flat? Like, no. <laughs> Taking him for a ride. Ain't talking about Marvel versus Capcom, too. Yeah. Back here. Ooh, it's nice to get a turn up. Dave's also pulling a lot more turn ups. Yep. You know, keeps them apart a lot better. Not gonna get the triple back here there, but still on the Sopo, and now, yeah, yeah look at Bleak. They just got a whole ledge there. I guess that does it too. Yeah, sometimes you do just gotta go out there, because then you don't want the ambiguous. Yeah. Oh, yeah am I gonna get him or not? That's a out stage. There it is. And a purple card gets set in the same way, like for Ryan. You know, it's it's like a it's roulette where you're gonna get sent from the down smash. Yeah. I'm seeing it just kind of harassing uh, Ryan. When he gets a hit, it's like double, triple nair. That's gonna be it for the uh, mana. Ryan's famous Sopo. Up smashing it in place. No hard read uh, gonna be given there. Looking for that down throw. That is going to be a three stocks to one lead now for MC David. As we have a fire transformation coming up here. Nice back here. Yeah, we're gonna have a little ledge too. We'll see if that plays in. Nope, doesn't even need to uh, use it. Yeah, this is also pretty bad for ice climbers, I feel like. Yeah. What are they gonna do here? No idea. It actually might be like a little good for the Nana. Uh, just to get hit. Just down smash three times next to the wall. True. I feel like this just is Ryan's of Yeah. Oh. oh, never mind. Ryan's the best player. <laughs> See, David just dying from fear. It's down smash. This is it. Ah, oh, just down smash again. Why are you pulling a turn up? Gets jumped. <laughs> Gets knocked out by that jab. True. Oh, nice dash attack. But yeah, actually, Ryan won here in their uh, first set that they played against each other. But it doesn't look like he's going to do it this time. Yeah, Ryan would have to win neutral like 15 times. And MC David will have to win neutral once. Yeah, that's what happened. 2 0, MC David. Let's He's get going to back. Go home early. He's going back. What is he doing? Uh, All right. What is he thinking? He really wants to win this one. True. A lot of money online. Yeah. Yeah, they have to have made a bet. There's no way you. Because you win more money, ladies and gentlemen, if you get in first. And yeah, we don't have any regulations in the melee community. Side bet on yourself all day. Yeah. Oh, 71, 81%, 89%. Yeah, gamble kind of the, uh, the theme here. He uh, gambles another game uh, with his Ice Climbers. Uh, see David's like, why do you know this? Yeah, he's I'm like... going to down, smash, and turn up you. And Ryan's like, the negative odds, dude. It's negative, <laughs> you know. <laughs> or would it be, I win no, sorry, if I win. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Or, or is it plus? No, we're sorry. in a racetrack plus right now. Yeah. If you're not going to gamble here, where are you going to gamble? Yeah, exactly. Till my horse wins again, baby. <laughs> it's a great song by the... Uh, there's a band called the uh, Wilhelm Scream. I if you've ever heard of them. I've heard of the Wilhelm Scream. Yeah. That's, I only found out about them because I searched up Wilhelm Scream. <laughs> I saw that. But right now, Ryan... Ryan looking dejected. Yeah, probably Wilhelm screaming internally right there. I, it's, all these transformations are like so bad for ice climbers. True. Peach could just like camp a platform and just down smash. What can they do? Nothing. You know, I'm probably very wrong on all ice climbers players are gonna make fun of me for any of this, but yeah. <laughs> I mean Frozen Stadium really good for ice climbers. Yeah, of course it's not Frozen Stadium. It's yep. a counterpick stadium, maybe. Exactly. Oh, Ryan. Up oh, taunts, <laughs> alright. Ryan's having a good time. Yeah, it's a bold strategy, Con. We get the forward air, that Nana just survived. Oh, oh the Nana makes up the grab! Oh. Nana the goat! <laughs> Bubbles three times. MC David does not mash out of it. <laughs> He's like, oh. Yo, is this the turnaround? Is the AI gonna save Ryan? 
Ryan going to chat GPT for his wins. He's having a little relationship troubles. Goes right to chat GPT. And it's like, I got you, homie. Yeah. But Ryan did not got Nana. He, he don't. <laughs> he don't got Nana. He don't got this right now. All right, grab. Oh, okay. And it's goes for the down smash. It look bleak. It look right now between these two. This is a kill, right? Yeah. yeah down smash uh, forward. Down a, down throw forward smash. There we go. Yep. We don't. <laughs> we played this game. Yep. That is a thing we do. Oh, that man is out. Jab, jab. Peach's jab is just better. Sorry, Popo. And that fire transformation too. Probably the best one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now the grass one's probably the best one for Sopo or Popo. Or ice climbers. Oh, that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. As we have just a tiny little sequence here for MC David to close it out as he does it. 3-0 against Ryan. Dang. Taken. Xanadu 545. It's 5.45. It's 5.45. You know, it seemed like just yesterday when we had a Xanadu Legends uh, 500. Yeah. And now we're already at 5.45. Yeah, you know, uh, going to hit 600 in like no time. Yeah. 5.50. No, that's crazy. Are we doing anything for 5.50? Probably not. But, ladies and gentlemen. Come here anyway. As we, a great we time. We have a little slip here that says Legends. Xanadu Legends, March 9th. I want you all to come out. Xanadu... Legends this month was not that populated, and we need y'all to come. Same right as. as we see here, we also have if you're old, if you're an old kid in the crowd, and uh, you're rooting for uh, Ryan, you're upset uh, that Ryan didn't win. Uh, fear not, because I'm assuming is he going to be at uh, Zanadu Homecoming there, February 24th for Ultimate. And if you're an FGC player and you want to play some Tekken, we got our bread and butter monthly on February 17th. Hey, good games. Uh, but yeah. As uh, I think we're gonna have a little player interview here from uh, MC David. Thanks for commentating, man. I'll see ya. All right. So it's been a while. How's it feel to have a free grand finals? <laughs> <laughs> it did take two Peach games today, so it wasn't yeah. entirely free. True. Uh, but yeah, a bit easier than a Sheik. That's fair to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Was it just pride? Do you guys have like some sort of side bet? Uh, no, I think he just was frustrated and was like, I'm just going to do something I know is fun. And if it works, that's even better. But there's really no, like, what's the worst case scenario? It doesn't work, and then everybody has a good laugh. Cheers. Like, I mean, he literally, he took a game off me with that same Ice Climbers in, in winners. So yeah. it's possible. True. Like, I, that matchup is super bad. It is like 8-2, but I, it's real 8-2 and not fantasy 8-2. Like, sometimes people will be talking about the matchup online, they'll be like, it's an A2 matchup, and that means it's impossible, and those climbers can never win. But that's literally not what that expression means. <laughs> it means if you play 10 sets, the, and the two evenly skilled players, the Peach will win eight of them, which is what I believe. So, it's definitely possible, but yeah, it, you got to outplay the other person pretty hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, helped you get here, though? Because, like, the, the actual grants... Mm -hmm. uh, pretty, like, free after, like, the, the first game. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, those... I mean... No discredit, but yeah. like that, the run before that was pretty impressive. Like yeah. you, you, you took down Stan. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the run back. And yes, then, who uh, beat me twice last week. Yeah, so. and then you beat uh, beat Ryan in mm -hmm. winners finals when he was like putting the yeah. cheek on display. I've been adding new stuff to all my problem matchups. So yeah, the new thing I was doing against Falco this week is I started doing when you got like half a screen between you doing like nair forward out of crouch. I was never doing them before. I was just doing dash attack, which of course loses to shield. A really hard. Uh, plus, it loses. It, it doesn't go as far as you can nair forward. So, like, there are spacings where it screws you up. So, just making that little switch out is a huge difference maker because that means I can get like down smashes at zero. It means I can get edge guards at like high percent. So I don't get stuck in those like Martharitis type situations where they live to like 150 percent. Um, and against uh, Sheik, I'm doing fairway more because I I have a problem in that matchup when I'm trying to do regular shield pressure. I just get. Uh, shield grabbed a ton, especially against Ryan, who's incredible at doing shield DI. So even if you have a good spacing, he'll like do that little nudge forward to make sure that he can get the grab, and then he can convert like 70% off a of grab at zero, which, which you know she Peach can't do back to Sheik. Uh, but by replacing a lot of that was just like walling with fair, and then if they give you space because you're walling with fair, then you can get a turn up, and then you can start your turn up pressure that way. That it completely changes how how neutral goes. So you can do it in a way that where you know. 
if I if I do lose neutral, I take a hit. I don't get blown up for you know my entire stock, and that's uh, it's made a big difference. I did I played a lot better against Ryan this week. I beat Kush a couple weeks ago, um, and I still can't beat Mo Money, but that's next on the list. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I just keep, you know there's always room to grow, man, because it's melee. True, true. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to say this too, because I, I I'm really glad that I won one because. I am actually not going to be around much after mm. the end of February. Ah, wh yeah. what do you got going on? So one of my my other big hobby besides melee from before the pandemic is I used to do improv comedy in really? DC. Yeah, with really? Washington Improv Theater, and I stopped doing it when you know everything got shut down. I never started again because like all the friends that I was doing it with back then, they were just like moved on with their lives. I'm old as hell, so everybody has freaking kids and stuff now. Um, but uh, I got invited to just play with some random thing a couple like months ago, and I made me remember how much I miss it. Uh, so I auditioned to join a team, and I actually got in. Like uh, oh, nice. they told me a week ago, and the practices and start on the beginning of March, and it's unfortunately on Wednesdays. Mm. So yeah. yeah, my Xanadu appearances are going to be few and far between. Yeah. So. I got one more win, <laughs> and hopefully Malachi can come out so I can. I just need yeah, one. Yeah. Get that. Just <laughs> I just the need one. one before I retire. Just but yeah, one. that's why I've been I've been grinding like crazy the last couple weeks because I know that I'm not going to be able to do it pretty much ever after this. Yeah. So this is going to be the last time for a while. True, true. Mm -hmm. You think you're uh, gonna? Where Where do you think is going to be like the next place though? Because I mean, I mean. I'd assume you're not like. Are you gonna take a break from melee, or are you just trying to find the next place? Well, I won't have. I won't be able to go to Xanadu anymore. Yeah. The, our, the shows are on Monday, so I won't be able to do Cave. Not that I've done that in forever for yeah. various reasons. Um, and I do D&D &D on Thursday, so I can't do BMW. I mean, I guess I could do Flipside on Tuesdays, yeah. right? Does that sound right to you? Is that Tuesdays? Tuesdays, yeah. Flipside. Yeah. Also, if you, I mean, BMS, too. Oh, that's true, too. I, I guess yeah. you won't win anybody. But, yeah, when but we, I don't have this place with, like, friends where everybody's, like, trying to improve together and stuff. I don't know if I'll have the you. motivation to grind. So I mean, I'll be around, but I won't be very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll go back to the way I was, you know, six months ago. Yeah. You, I mean, you can have fun. You also can, yeah. I mean, UMD is mm -hmm. always fun to be had there. Yeah, true, true. Go some secondaries. Have some fun. Yep. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to miss you here. Yeah. It's yeah. Been, been fun. I've been coming here almost every week for like two years since yeah. I moved to Laurel. Uh, and yeah, it's been awesome, man. We have a great scene in Maryland. I feel like we're spoiled. We don't, <laughs> like, yeah. if you've ever lived anywhere else, you realize how crazy it is to have a local full of cool people who are also super talented on basically every day of the week. And then there's a monthly every other weekend. True. Like, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> people in New York and Jersey would kill for our schedule. True. <laughs> no, dude, it's, it's actually insane because. Like, in 2022, it wasn't exactly that way. Mm -mm. But, like, there's something that happened. I don't know what it was, but, like, late December of 2022 or more more likely January of 2023, mm -hmm. it just – people were like, screw it. We're coming out. Yeah. We're coming out to places and all this. And like, everything has just been popping. Yeah. Like, it's just – it's been so nice, like, to just have those consistent – locals yeah. just have new people in the scene like you know i i think with with flipside and like lion's den uh having those new tournaments come mm -hmm. up you know the cave just being insane mm -hmm. uh having these xanadus uh you know pop off as well what there's, was it tonight like 18 people 18 people there's a, that's sick what's great yeah. is like there's so many setups here and mm -hmm. there's like enough people to where you just find friendlies whenever oh 100 percent. and mm -hmm. it's it's just so nice it's like i think this is the best like it excluding umd uh, mm -hmm. And BMS. If you're like newer to the game, come out to these Xanadus. Like you mm -hmm. will learn so much from so many yeah, players agreed, here. 100%. Like even if even if you go into like like a, tons of weeks in a row, you're gonna learn so much more than if yeah. you just you know stick on Slippy. And our our TO near is really good about if you're new, you'll get a set on stream. So True. not only like ev even if maybe you set what you lose, but you'll be able to watch it later and be able to like, oh, you know, pick out stuff that you did and maybe even the commentators can point out some stuff that you did. True, true. I yeah. mean, how often do you, even if you have slippy replays, like it can be yeah. hard to get other people to watch them. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, you have people in the Discord as well mm -hmm. who, who are uh, super willing. If you, you join our MDBA Discord mm -hmm. uh, and we have I mean, character discords running mm -hmm. here. Like we have a, <laughs> a lot of people who are willing to just will give you advice you know yeah. what i mean just it's part of the fun know. right <laughs> yeah exactly we want to see we want to see our character uh rise up so mm -hmm. we want to see them rise the ranks and uh yeah oh it, uh my wife texted me that you guys want to know about my shirt oh yeah. yeah yeah uh it's not much of a story you know in the jackbox party pack there's a game where you make funny t-shirts you can print them out yeah so this, yeah. this was from a, a game of tko 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, any closing remarks you wanna you wanna give her? No, nope, just happy to be here. And I Malachi, next time I see you, I swear to God, I will destroy you. <laughs> Betting Malachi everything I have on it. <laughs> Malachi's probably probably laughing at home. He's oh like, yeah, I'm sure he loves he, <laughs> he, he loves, loves playing like, the villain. So <laughs> yeah, he's not well. He's not really a villain. He's more like uh, I don't know. You ever watch yeah, that I video guess, about his yeah. his rivalry with Magi? Yeah, he, you I know guess. he loves talking shit. Give him an excuse yeah. to talk shit. He'll do it all day. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's like he's more like he likes play. He likes other people thinking he's the villain. Yes, but he doesn't well, like. He that's doesn't what like, I mean. He's not a jerk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He's not. You know, mm-hmm. he's not like. Well, ha, ha. He's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You think I'm a villain? That's funny. Yeah, because yeah. I'm the best. Yeah. Prove I'm not. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He's right. more than like getting into people's heads. Oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I uh, I look forward to seeing that next All time right. next time we get that rematch. But uh, as for today, uh, we have MC David on top. Uh, thank you to all y'all coming out. Thank you for MC mm-hmm. David for uh, interviewing with me. Thank you Zrick uh, for commentating and everyone else who commentated. Thank you Brig for always uh, helping us out back there, being the goat. Uh, and uh, Nira for TOing and uh, Xanadu for uh, hosting these events. Uh, this will be. Oh, set of the night. What do you think of the set of the night? Um, oh, my set with Stan, for Stan? sure. Yeah, that was really. It, it was tight. Yeah. Um, and it was a lot of fun adaptation and a crazy ending that could never be. will never be replicated. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were racing to who could SD first. It was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say that too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this will uh, be Johnny Lawrence. I'm a bit tired here. Uh, Johnny Lawrence signing out. Peace.